This is Governor Ron DeSantis, and I didn't intend to start here, but start here we must because this is the news that is coming out right now. All right, so uh, here's Ron DeSantis. When uh, Biden is flying these people all over the fruited plain in the middle of the night, he says uh, he didn't hear anything about the outrage of these uh, 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 of those people. So uh, let's get into that audio clip. Audio clip number one, por favor, Sean. So when Biden is flying these people all over the fruited plain in the middle of the night, I didn't hear a peep out of those people, okay? I didn't hear a peep. I haven't heard a peep about all the people that have been told by Biden you can just come in and they're going, they're being abused by the cartels, they're drowning in the Rio Grande. You had 50 that died in some shed in Texas. I heard no outrage about any of that. Uh, I haven't heard outrage about all the fentanyl that's come across the border that's killing Americans in record numbers. I don't hear... I don't hear outrage about the criminal aliens that have gotten through and have then victimized people, not only in Florida, but all throughout the country. I didn't hear any outrage about that. The only thing I hear them getting upset about is you have 50 that end up in Martha's Vineyard. Then they get really upset. Fentanyl, drownings, crime. Did you guys hear about the uh, gentleman, and I use the term loosely, uh, that beheaded his ex-girlfriend? I think it was a week or two ago. It was in Northern California. Straight beheaded her, uh, the mother of his child. He happened to be an illegal migrant. So she had a child with this man. Uh, He beheaded her in in an argument. Uh, She was getting ready to tell some of his friends or fellow gang members or what have you that, uh, you know, he had had a homosexual affair and all this kind of stuff. They were texting back and forth, really nasty texts back and forth. They got into it. They got heated. He goes to her place of residence. Her father had warned her to stay away from the guy. The guy lops her head off, lops her head off. The head rolls underneath the the car. Listen, I don't mean to be so gruesome here, but I want you to understand that some of the things that do happen. Listen, I understand that there are a lot of people that are coming into this country that want to leave, uh, and I don't blame them. They want to leave their countries behind, and they want to come to the greatest country that God has ever given man, even though Democrats and leftists sometimes one in the same, oftentimes one in the same. I'm starting to believe they are synonymous. Uh, they'll tell people that this isn't the greatest country. It's systemically racist. And yet they want all of these people to come into this country. It's absolutely amazing to me. It's astonishing. And Ron DeSantis is right. The Democrat Party, they, they, they care about power. They care about power. They don't, they don't care about the people. I, I, I've told you this before. What these illegal immigrants represent is a new Negro vote for them. It is a replacement theory. They, they want to replace white conservatives. Yeah, I, 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 I think they want to replace some white conservatives. I think they want to transform the demographics in t- across the entire country, no doubt about it. But you also have to remember that the Democrat Party has to be replenished. Uh, blacks, let's just be real. We're killing ourselves in the street. Uh, we are uh, 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 aborting uh, far too many of our babies, half the babies, if not more, in the state of New York or aborted from black women. I, I mean, it's absolutely insane. So these people invade our country and then they want to sue one of our governors. It's amazing. It's amazing because all of these uh, soft on crime and all of these open borders liberals, yeah, they're for open borders in theory as long as it doesn't impact them and as long as it doesn't touch them, as long as it doesn't come to a rich liberal enclave near them. It's fascinating to me. They want the open borders, but they don't want the people near them. The people are too dirty. Ah, don't want to deal with them. I mean, if you're coming to clean my house for a couple of hours and mow my lawn, you're good. Beyond that, please get away from us at Martha's Vineyard. These people are despicable. But this is who the Democrat Party is. The Democrat Party is elite. The Democrat Party no longer represents you. I'm going to go throughout this hour and I'm going to prove to you that the Democrat Party no longer represents the working class. We'll take a look at the economy. We'll take a look at what's happening. It's a complete and utter disgrace. But before I do that, since this news is breaking, let's delve in a little further. We're going to use a a couple of more audio clips for you. Here's another one of Ron DeSantis talking about the 50 going into Martha's Vineyard. Let's play this cut, audio cut number two, por favor, Sean. If you believe in open borders, then it's the sanctuary jurisdictions that should have to bear the brunt of the open borders. So that's what we're doing. But what happened was they were were provided um, an ability to be in the, the most posh, 
sanctuary jurisdiction maybe in the world. And obviously it's sad that Martha's Vineyard people deported them the next day. They could have absorbed this. They chose not to. But what it shows is if 50 was a burden on one of the richest places in our country, what about all these other communities that have been overrun with hundreds or thousands? It shows you when now these policies are on the front burner, people need to be talking about. Biden can't defend his policies of open borders. Uh, it's doing huge damage uh, to our country. It's costing a lot of money. It's costing lives with the drugs that are pouring across. And so the question is, is why are you supporting Biden's policies? Why don't you step up and tell him you're failing and let's do it differently? Because you know what? He inherited a border that wasn't like this. He has created the crisis. But now at least we know nobody can deny that there's a crisis. Everybody now knows. And it was only because you had to have the elite who want to have the cost on everybody else and they don't want to have to shoulder that. That's the only reason now people are talking about this. You realize how panicked the left is in hearing this? See, the left, this, this is what Republicans should be doing all the time. We shouldn't rely on a Donald Trump or a Governor Ron DeSantis or a Greg Abbott. This is what Republicans should be doing in general. And what I mean by that is they should be putting Democrats on the offense every, st- every, opportunity, uh, every opportunity they get. This was brilliant. This was absolutely brilliant. Like many of you, I thought this was a stunt. I thought it was a stunt that wouldn't work. But I was sitting there thinking, good. We'll give the uh, liberals a little dose of their own medicine. This is the type of stunt they will pull with us. But it's had a much greater impact, particularly this latest one, obviously, with Governor DeSantis. So the left is going back crazy right now as well. They should be because now they're playing defense. And this is what we have to do. The border crisis is a huge crisis. You talk about. They, they talk about Governor Ron DeSantis using these people as a pawn. First off, I don't care if he is good. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I know this is I know a lot of people are uncomfortable hearing this, but politics is a blood sport. And sometimes it's what it's what uh, Republicans haven't gotten for some time. There's, we have to talk about we, we have to talk about the economy. We have to talk about the things that are rational and logical, the things that we typically talk about. But we also have to talk about the culture. And sometimes in order to talk about the culture, the culture, political theater is warranted if we're going to bring attention to an issue that needs to be brought attention to. I'm telling you, the Democrat Party is panicked as well because I want you to understand this. And I did a podcast today on this. Check out my podcast, the Carl Jackson show dot com. Make sure you use the Work the in front or Salem Podcast Network.com. One of the reasons why the left is absolutely terrified of bringing this issue back to the forefront is I'm telling you, Donald Trump has siphoned off a lot of the Latino vote. All of this stuff is connected. So now they got to pretend, oh my God, people are finding out that we really don't care about illegal immigrants. We really don't care about the poor. Uh, How do we attack Governor Ron DeSantis? I know. Let's find one of our left wing lunatics, lunatics to file a lawsuit on behalf of 50 migrants that went to one of the most gorgeous places in the entire world. One of the richest places in the entire world. They should be thanking Governor Ron DeSantis, and I hope they're the first 50 to get deported when we take back office.